As the coronavirus continues spreading, concerns are growing. The CDC has confirmed the fifth case of the new virus here in the U.S., and we're still awaiting results to see if it spread to Virginia. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell is working for you to find out what you need to know. She joins us now live in Roanoke. Jessica. People across the Roanoke Valley are taking extra precautions because of the coronavirus. We learned this morning the two people being investigated in central Virginia for possibly having the virus tested negative, but that doesn't mean people aren't on high alert. We like to be uh, cautious about it. New warnings from health experts tonight over the coronavirus and what they're calling a rapidly evolving situation. It's a cause for concern based on history. Mutations of the virus in 2002 and 2012 leading to high death rates. But this time... The death rate related to this would probably be about 3%. Still, though, local hospitals are taking lots of extra steps to prepare. And these are all proactive, not because we expect to see cases of it, but simply to be prepared. Carillion has created emergency management and communications teams and changed the way patients are triaged based on symptoms and travel history. It's not just hospitals on high alert. Universities are also keeping a close eye on the virus. Virginia Tech sending this email to students Monday morning saying university leaders are monitoring the outbreak. We have spoken to, we have met with students and faculty whom we know who have come from China in the last couple of weeks and we have been in communication and contact with them, and they are all uh, symptom-free, and they have been advised and educated as to what to do at the earliest stages of any sort of illness. Proactive steps to prevent an outbreak spreading fear worldwide. I think the likelihood of having coronavirus in uh, Virginia, especially in Southwest Virginia, is significantly low. Virginia is not in the clear just yet. Another potential case of coronavirus is still being investigated in Northern Virginia. The health department doesn't expect to get those results back until later this week. Live in Roanoke, I'm Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.